Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Dave's Devos on this Thursday morning. I'm feeling proud today because I think I outsmarted my old computer. It was giving me problems again today, but little did it know I had a backup computer with me, and that's what I'm using right now. So, have you ever had a time when you were reading through a scripture passage and it just kind of tripped you up? Like, uh, it's oh, you're reading along and, and kind of getting the idea, and then suddenly it's like, wait a minute, did it just say that? That, that doesn't make sense to me. I had that the other day. I was reading through Proverbs 27, uh, reading Proverbs 27, verse 5, and it just stopped me and made me think. And the proverb simply says, better is open rebuke than hidden love. Better is open rebuke than hidden love. That, hmm. Now, just a couple things about the proverb as I've been reflecting on it. And, and first of all, is that it's not saying that one is good and one is bad. It's just comparing the two. Better rebuke is not always good and, and hidden love, love is not always bad. If that were the case, well, open rebuke is better and the hidden love is bad? No, that's not what he's saying at all. He's just comparing them to. He's putting them onto a scale and saying one of these has got to be more valuable or more important or more beneficial than the other. And, and as I'm thinking about open rebuke and I'm thinking about hidden love, well, then the scales are tipping toward open rebuke being the better of the two. So better open rebuke is better than hidden love. And he's not saying you have to have either or. It's not either rebuke or love, that the two can go hand in hand, so to speak. And in fact, if it's going to be really good rebuke or a good um, expression of love, then they should go hand in hand. In fact, the very next verse says, wounds from a friend can be trusted. And so there's that idea, right? There's going to be some rebuke. There's going to be some challenge that's being laid out, but it's coming from a heart that's pure, a heart that's full of love. It's coming from a friend. Wounds from a friend can be trusted, but an enemy multiplies kisses. So open rebuke is better, not all uh, completely different than love, but open rebuke is better than hidden love. And that makes sense to me, although there's a part of me that really doesn't like rebuke. And I think probably most of us would agree with that. There are, of course, some people who kind of thrive on giving rebuke. Um, we're not going to talk about that this morning. Uh, but there are many of us who, when we have the opportunity or the necessity where we have to go to somebody and offer them rebuke. I, I see something in your life that I need to speak truthfully to. Uh, that's hard for us. We anticipate the pain that it could cause. Uh, we maybe have experienced that in the past where we've given rebuke and we see the look in their eyes where they're hurt and, and we don't want to do it. And as much as we don't like to offer rebuke, even more so we don't like to receive rebuke. Rebuke is a hard thing. So it's an interesting thing to say that open rebuke is better than hidden love. But that's what is wisdom. That's what we read in our Bibles. And so we'll take that to be true. What I found uh, interesting, what really caught me in the passage was not this idea of open rebuke. I mean, we kind of know that. But the phrase, hidden love, isn't that an odd phrase? Hidden love? It, it kind of caught me because I thought, well, who in the world would want that? I mean, maybe a teenager, right? Okay, you, your parent is dropping you off at school and they're giving you a big hug and you're like, oh, mom, dad, don't do that. I mean, people are watching. My friends are watching. You know, just tell me that you love me or, or say goodbye, maybe even just, just say goodbye. That's all I really need right now at this point. A, a teenager might like hidden love, but certainly not a spouse, right? You don't have people come up to you and say, you know, my spouse, my wife, 
she loves me so much. You would never be able to tell it because she's really good at hiding it. In fact, that's one of the things I really like about my wife. I really love about my wife. Of course, I would never tell her that because I'm trying to be just as good at hiding my love as she is at hiding her love. <laughs> Nobody wants that. I mean, ish, hidden love. It's not like you have a couple who's walking around church and, and other couples are saying, boy, I wish we could be like them. I mean, I know that you can't tell that they love each other, but, but they really do. They're just really good at hiding it. No, hidden love. What is that even like? Nobody comes to God in prayer and says, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. I'm so excited today to be able to see how you're going to show me your love for me. But if you could just make it a little bit less obvious, that would be great. Hidden love. And hidden love, the writer says, is not nearly as good as open rebuke. It's almost like that open rebuke is the opposite of hidden love in some ways in that it's love that's not hidden. It's love that is so difficult for us to offer because we know that it's going to be difficult for the other person to receive. Or it's difficult for us to receive. And so we're thinking maybe it should be a little bit more hidden, but he says, no, 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 no. This is open love when we are openly willing to rebuke somebody. In fact, elsewhere in scripture we read about how it's better to speak to a person if they have a sin that's that's leading them into a dangerous place. It's better to speak to them in love, as difficult as that is for us. And maybe the difficulty itself is evidence of the greatness of the love, because it's going to challenge us to do something that is hard for us, that's going to be hard for the other person, but it, we know that it is the most loving thing that we can possibly do. Open rebuke and open love is much better than the absence of rebuke and love that is hidden. I think that's what the, that's what the writer is getting at. We don't want that hidden love. We want that open and obvious love that sometimes leads us to give and to receive rebuke from those who are closest to us. So <laughs> maybe, maybe people will listen to this and then they'll be motivated and they'll say, well, okay, there's somebody that I need to give rebuke to and I'm going to go out and do it. So today could be a really a, a day that's full of love and rebukes. And that's kind of frightening to me. Maybe somebody's out there listening right now and saying, okay, Calvin, <laughs> I've been thinking about this and it's time for me to come to you and, and speak some truth into your life. Um, I'm going to receive that as an expression of your love <laughs> that comes. Uh, it, could be a, it could be a difficult day, but it could be a great day of uh, being really able to speak truth and love into each other's lives and to receive that truth and love from each other. So let's come to God in prayer. Father in heaven, we thank you for being present here with us and being present in our lives. We thank you for your Holy Spirit who is leading us into truth, and we're thankful for how you sometimes lead us into truth through those that you have called into our lives. And so may we speak truth to each other in love. May our open rebukes, if they are necessary, come bathed in love, filled with love, and may we, if we need to receive those expressions of love, receive them as simply that, an expression of the love of a person who is coming to us and willing to step into the messiness of our lives in order that we might be drawn closer to you and to what you have for us. Be with us this day, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thanks for joining us as we close out this week of Dave's Devos and looking forward to seeing you at, uh, boy, we better watch for the uh, announcements. I know that we're going to be meeting together. I'm not sure for uh, if it's going to be at 10 a.m. or if we're, I think we're still at 10 a.m., one service. Um, let's plan on that unless we hear otherwise through an, an email. Uh, so have a great day. 
looking forward to seeing you again on Sunday.